Good morning, you guys. It's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're back at the Walworth County Fairgrounds for the last Elkhorn Antique Market. Uh, last year, I was blown away by the stuff that people brought to the last show. I can't wait to see what kind of holiday goodies we might find today. So let's get to shopping. It's very dark here in the mornings in September at Elkhorn, but it makes the lights look really cool. There they are, making the world a better place, one curd at a time. We'll see you later. Look at this gorgeous mirror set in the mirrored box. 95. Look at all the perfume bottles. Look at the top on that one. Wow, those are cool. We've got some Commodore angel candle holders in their original box. Ooh, a little spendy there. Got a bloom candle holder. Yep. Good shape. Got lots of Christmas here. Mercury bead sprays. Not sure how much those are. I got some little Holt Howard candle holders. Rubber face Santa and a beautiful pyrography box there. Beautiful pottery pieces out here. What are you looking for, dear? Just just for look in. Mm -hmm. I'm not really seeing anything that's screaming take me home though. Look at Pumpkin Man. He's awesome. He's 165. Really cool. The little Catherine home pan with the warmer. 130. The spider web brooch. The spider hanging on it. Very cool. Dumbo. Look at the Susie Homemaker kitchen. So cool. And the table and chairs. 45. Wow, this is pretty, isn't it? Like that. We have some enamel flowers back here. Well, we've come across some Christmas here. Yeah. I really like that leaping deer right there. It's nice. But I'm definitely going to get the babies. I love to craft with those. What else is in here? Ooh, I see a Joseph Owl peeking out. Hootie hoo! We'll get you too, Mr. Owl. stockings like this. So much fun. Who's a baby? Oh, yes, we will get you. Oh, what'd you find, Mom? Oh, I love the ribbon in the box. How much is that? Mm -hmm. Don't know? Okay, can I give these to you? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, this is good right here. Little mistletoe guy, he's 20. This is Lefton. Uh, I'm gonna think about that. Got a Nesco helpful kitchen pixie. Lots of Christmas. 15 on the knee hugger. Oh, I love this big footed guy. These ones are my favorite things. 25. 
Oh, I love him. Maybe she'll do a little better on him. We've got a dapper little kitty. Meow. Seven dollars on the dapper kitty. This is just a figurine. Um, we'll see. We'll see about that. Oh, left in candy cane sleigh for forty dollars. I'm gonna look her over, make sure she doesn't have any damage. That's an amazing price. We've got Homco. Put it in your home. Elves. Oh, we've got Bambi here. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. Twenty-six dollars. Um, yeah, we're definitely gonna get Bambi. Um, wait, 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 wait. Your hands are too full. No, I'm good. Oh, you got it. I'm gonna go okay. to the front. All right. She's got fantastic stuff. Look at these cones. Oh goodness. This is a dangerous booth here. Well, I'm gonna see what my pile is gonna cost here. These face ornaments. Very cool. I am not gonna get this, but I had to get it on camera. Oh, it's so cute. It is a coloring book, but I love the deer on there. The cute stuff. A little. I have sold the larger parrot before. Look at the cute little puppy dog. And a seal. Look how cute this is. Looks like a storybook page that's framed. So cute. Some Holt Howard mugs. I did get one from her. Um, these other two I'm leaving. Look at all of the poodles. Wow. That's a lot of poodles. I bought, I've bought i bought some from her before, but she's never brought this many uh, to the show before. Like this big Italian one. Very cool. Well, I am going to get this little sugared gal. She's only $3. Look at, gosh, this is a good deal with all of these soft plastic deer. I'm going to see, maybe she might do a little bit better for me, but wow, that's cool. Look at this crocheted baby pillow. I don't even know what to say about that, but she's she's special. The card holder, Santa. He's pretty cool. $45 on that. Alright, here is Vintage Soul Thrifters booth. You guys, if you come to Elkhorn, you have to come to Kimmy and Frank's booth because they always bring the amazing vintage stuff. And I know how much time they spend putting all of their displays, making things look so beautiful. And I know Kim is a big fan of Halloween, so I'm not surprised that there is a lot of cool Halloween stuff here this time too. Look at E.T. peeking out back there. Oh, this haunted, this little haunted house. That is fun such good stuff. Oh, I love the little framed piece here. It's great. Make sure you guys go and subscribe to Vintage Soul Thrifters YouTube channel. They do awesome videos as well. So go give them a subscribe and a follow. Follow her over on Instagram. this gorgeous orange and black glass. So good for Halloween. Can you just imagine this at a Halloween party? Serve your cookies on there. This box. Oh, this box is gorgeous. We love that. And then, of course, all the mid-century goodness is back here in the corner. There's a Viking bird here for 65 she always has such pretty glass. Such pretty glass things. Look at this cougar lamp. So awesome. Love all the owls too. You can uh, pick your pumpkins out too. I love the green ones. I think the green spotty ones are my favorite, but look at them all. So many cool colors. The warty ones that are back there. This 
booth always has really nice selection of things. Look at these clocks. Got 60 on the one back here. And this little wax snowball that somebody has put these tiny little owls in here. So cute. Oh, it's a music box, it says. It says it's a music box. It's $20. Oh, I see on the side. Very cute. Oh, really nice swung vases here. Yeah, $225 on the big one there. Uh, prices are too much for me, but they are very pretty. Alright, wait till you see the bittersweet, you guys. <laughs> it's not bittersweet glass, it's actual bittersweet. It's a Christmas. Look at these rooster cup cozies and coasters and little stir sticks. That's fun set there. Oh, look at the German flock deer. That's really cool. Oh my gosh, this is the kitschiest thing I've seen here today. Meow meow. You know? Um, this is an art art. Little kitty missing the babies. Um, I'll have to see how much they want for it. Oh, look at this red wing pottery planter in the stand. I've got $99, but look at the pink speckles. So good. Look at these metal horses. $550. Very cool. The Halloween. There's some pretty Christmas girls here. Looks like it's 55 for the set. And then we have a Lefton Snowball Bell. Um, there actually is a matching one, so that it would be sold as a set typically. So if there was the other one here, I probably would pick those up. But I'm going to leave the single guy here. It is 10 a.m., so that means it's cheese curd time. The service station, 49 on them. Just got a tiny little jewelry casket, and the lining in it is really, really nice. Love the teeny tiny, so cute. Alright, this might be the cutest pixie I have ever seen. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's a Napco. I've never seen that before. Um, she's got $36.99 on it. Yeah, he's a little too much for me, but oh my gosh, so cute. It's interesting. Kind of pottery bird. It's redware. It's interesting. a piece of Batosi in quite a while. They've got 175 on that. There's a little bisque cupie in a to-go container. It's got 20 bucks on it. I think it's um, not as old as I would want it to be, so I'm gonna leave that here. Left in bluebird butter dish. Look at this Murano piece in the sun. It is so pretty, as well as the one next to it, with the goldy sparkles in there. Look at all of this. This piece is cool here. Cute little Dalgo. It's cool, her she's Coco. Like so excited to get something that I will never use. There's a nice monograph here. So, $5. That's opposite of you. You're like, I don't know, unnecessary stuff. I love but I'm the like, bread pans oh, like no, this. Sure. I need the Starburst. That's cool. Oh, I've got some Fire King custard. Don't see that very often. Usually it's the white 
Fire King or the Jadeite um, that we see, but usually you don't see that custard color very often. Your lucite, little dry flower paperweights. Those are fun. Oh, look at the shell with the pearl in there. That's fun. Those brooches. Let me see if anything's jumping out at me. So prices really are good. Just don't know if I'm seeing anything. Yeah, I don't really see anything that's exciting me too much. So yeah, I don't see anything that we're going to pick up. Alright, so I was not able to film in this booth because there's lots of people in there, but look what I found, you guys. This is antique uh, Rose O'Neill Cupy Wear. Double-sided here. Paid $20 for that. So happy with that find. Okay. Snappy Snail made by Anesco. He's missing his antenna. Yeah, just a little out of my price range for all the pieces, but oh, one of my favorite Anesco pieces for sure. Look at this in the box. Pitcher and the glasses. Very cool. Just got $100 on it. Love the box. Oh, look at the rumple. Oh, it's a rumple frog. He's in really nice shape too, but he's a little out of my price range. Very, very cool to see him. Look how cute. The little chicky toaster cover is darling. Get this little tea towel holiday cheer with the little reindeer and the rhinestone eye. Oh, that's darling. Awesome graphics on the spots. Think maybe there's barware. Yep, that's really cool. The box is awesome. Well, here's something you don't see. Look at the brownie dessert tray. How cool is that? Got 260 on it. All right, so the last time we were at Elkhorn, the lovely Beth, uh, who has a booth here at the show, I got a lot of PY Apple pieces from her, and she found another piece for me, and this piece is amazing. It doesn't come around very often. Um, it is the, the little serving dish there with the three faces and the little stem as the handle so that was my last purchase of the day all right you guys we're all done here at the elkhorn antique market and the time is 1 p.m so we've been here since 7 a.m when they opened and i do believe this is the longest that we've ever been here at elkhorn there are a lot of people here today so much good stuff and of course i picked up some things that i was not able to film today so stick around for the haul at the end it's going to be a good one Welcome back everybody! Here is the haul this time from the Elkhorn Antique Market and though I didn't get a ton of stuff what I did find was very good quality um, somewhat hard to find things so I'm very happy with the stuff that I did pick up this time and I actually did have to hold myself back uh, from buying more things um, because it's very easy to overspend at this last Elkhorn show. So I did give myself a little bit of restraint and not do, go too crazy, but I was very happy, especially with the ceramic pieces that I was able to get this time. So let's get into it so you can see everything up close. And I did get a whole box full of these little Japan deer friends. Um, they do have, you can move their head um, and pose them how that you would like. Some have some glitter on the antlers and some do not. Um, so that was a great pick up on those. I love to find those, especially before Christmas. I'm not keeping these. Um, these will be for sale. And then I did find two flocked joseph originals cutie pies we got an owl here and then we have the darling little fawn deer oh i love these so much so i will be keeping both of these things for crafting 
And then I'm also keeping these teeny tiny little deer friends here. Um, I love to craft with these as well, the little made in Hong Kong plastic deer. And then we have a large uh, Bambi figurine with the deer on the tail. I do have this in my personal Bambi collection already. So I was happy to find another one for a collector. Very good condition on that piece there. And then we have down here this Bigfoot felt little pixie guy. This is another thing that I will be keeping to do a crafty Christmas arrangement with. He's so cute. And I love the ones with the big felt feet like that. And uh, one of my favorite ladies that's at the show, I always get something from her. Uh, typically, she has a lot of plush. Um, and she had this little small rubber face Santa this time. I love the small size on him. He does need some cleaning. I have not had a chance to clean him quite yet. But he's in really good shape, I think. Um, and he just needs a little, he just needs a little TLC. And he'll be great for Christmas time and we'll go down here next and we'll get to the really good kitsch um, at the end so I found a teeny tiny look how small this is a uh, little jewelry casket it's so small I love the teeny tiny ones and it still has both of the silk linings in there and it appears that they are in still pretty good shape in there too so um, I very rarely come across jewelry caskets that are either in good shape or affordable number one um, or have the lining still intact so that was a fun pickup there and then this uh, wood burned box with the lady and the pansies on here and the hinge is in good working condition on here and the image is also on the inside um, again I usually when I see these they're very expensive or uh, the hinge is usually broken um, so that was a good condition on that one and I don't know this is this is right up there at the top of my list for favorite things that I found at the show this time um, this antique so this is from the early 1900s QP um, Rose O'Neill illustrated little creamer here this is made in Germany um, it's Royal Rodelstadt, um, and it is got the Rose O'Neill QP made in Germany mark there on the bottom. This is only this like the second piece of that I have ever come across in the wild. And there is one other set of pieces at an antique place in Wisconsin that has a few pieces, but they're all like over a hundred dollars. So I was very happy. I couldn't believe that that was sitting there on the table, but I guess a lot of people probably don't know what this is if they come across it. Um, it's very, very valuable and harder to find pieces, especially um, in this kind of condition. Now there is a tiny, really tiny little flea bite there on the rim um, in the gold paint right there. It's just a paint fleck. It's not really even a chip. So um, the condition of it is fantastic for its age. And then I did pick up this I was at this booth for a really long time because she had some amazing things and I kind of had to make a decision on what I was going to get from her. Um, but this brooch really got me. The second I saw it, I thought that it was something really special, um, very different. So the rhinestones on here, they're all intact. There's no missing stones. There's no like discoloration of any of the stones and the spider that is hanging down. From here though there's no maker uh, stamp or anything on the back of this piece but it is very well made um, the clasp is in good working condition so I had to get that it was just so unusual for a brooch so I had to pick that up and then super kitsch we've got an Arnart little bow tie kitty friend meow meow um, I have never personally come across this particular one before now it would have had two kittens that were chained here at the center but it didn't have any um any kittens present but that's okay i like to find these just as standalone figurines as well and she's in pretty good shape too 
she's kind of um, a little calico kitty. Um, the paint is really good on this piece. There's no major chips or repairs or anything either. So I love to find the Arn art. And then, oh, this lady, I always love her, her things that she brings to the show. And I actually mentioned to her, I was like, I got a couple poodle families from you, I think in May or June. And I said, but you didn't have that many poodles. And she said, yeah, I actually have more. Um, so I got this little sugar poodle from her, her booth. I thought she was really cute. Um, very cute little face in there. And all the sugar appears to be in good shape on her as well. And then this little tapper kitty. It is not a shaker. Um, it's just a little figurine, little dapper kitty dressed in a top hat. I thought that was really cute. And then the lovely Beth, who has a booth at the show that I got the PY Apple pieces from last time I was there. Um, she found another piece for me, so I'm so happy that she saved this piece for me. It is a much harder to find uh, piece of the PY Apple faces. It's kind of the, the trio serving dish with the little twigs for the handle. Um, it's in really good shape too. So I love these PY pieces. So thank you again, Beth. And thank you again for chatting with me. You are so nice, Beth. Thank you again. And then I had to get this, um, new in package ribbon box. Now I do, I will be keeping this. This is something that I do like to craft with. Um, so I will leave the window in the front and then add some Christmas elements to the top of the box here. Um, I love these new old stock ribbons, especially those really bright and fun colors. I love that. And then the amazing Christmas ceramics this time. Very, very happy with these, these three pieces. So um, we have a Holt Howard Winking Santa mug. Um, it's 1962. He's in amazing condition. Like, look at the cold paint on this. Like, wow. I think this might, might be the nicest condition, uh, Holt Howard Santa mug I've ever had in my hands. Um, she did have some other ones. They did have some scratching, a uh, little bit of issue on the other two that she had. So I decided to just get one and they did make miniature versions of that same Santa mug, but that is the larger version. And then this piece, uh, wow. I haven't had, I think I had one or two of these last year for the Christmas season, but I absolutely love these. So this is a little candle holder. It is, um, they did make these with several different variations of carolers or shoppers, um, but this is a candle holder. It is made by Bloom b-l-u-m-e and she's in really nice shape too like this is all completely cold painted there's a little scratching on the hair uh but everything about this is cold painted so it's pretty amazing that it's in this kind of condition and i did not pay 29 dollars for it she actually gave me a, a much better deal on that piece um but you will be seeing this come before christmas time so I love these. They're just so cute. And then I think this has got to be my best pickup at the show this time. Um, these don't come around and if they do, they're very expensive. Um, so this is the Lefton Candy Cane Sleigh Shopper Girl um, piece. And again, the cold paint on this piece is just amazing. Um, there's very minimal scratching. There's a little bit on the hat there, um, but there's no, sometimes these will have the, the candy canes will be repaired um, or missing a piece. There's a tiniest little flea bite right there on the back, but wow, the cold paint on this is pretty amazing too. Now, originally this, this piece would come with two um, little ceramic reindeer. That would be essentially pulling the sleigh. She did not have the reindeer to go with this piece, um, but it is a great standalone figurine. And Lefton also made the same kind of sleigh girl in a larger cookie jar as well. So you would lift off 
the top part here would become the cookie jar and that is also a harder to find piece so very very happy with my ceramic pickups this time great great stuff i highly highly recommend this show at the walworth county fairgrounds if you have never been to it um do keep in mind that it is a very large show uh, mom and i I think this was the longest that we'd ever been there. Usually it takes us five, five and a half hours to get through. We were there a little bit longer this time. There were, the weather was just perfect. It was perfect all weekend. So there were definitely more people set up outside this time. And uh, I think that's why it took so much longer for us to get through the show. So I will leave all the information for the Elkhorn Antique Market down in the description of the video if you're ever interested in attending yourself. Um, one of my favorite shows that I go to every single year. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments what was your favorite thing that I either filmed at the show. There was a lot of fun stuff there at the show this time or that I picked up. Let me know down in the comments. I do love to read all the comments that you guys leave me on the videos and taking the time to leave them. So thank you so much. And I do live sales every single Wednesday on Mother Tucker's Antiques channel. It's called Fantastic Finds. That's at 8 p.m. Eastern. And I also do pop-up live sales here on my channel as well. Um, you just have to pay attention to the community tab here on my channel for upcoming events and item previews. I also do that over on my Instagram page. So thank you again so much for coming along with me. We'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.